Welcome to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. We're here tonight, and we're going to be having a really, really special guest on with us. We've got Coriander with me, of course, and we've got Carrie also <laughs> on the panel. Ladies, how's it going? Good. It is very good. All right. Yeah. All right. Um, for you guys in the live chat, thank you so much for coming to hang out with us. We really appreciate you guys uh, and all the excitement that we have here. We see you guys. And just giving a blanket hello uh, to everyone. We're going to bring on our special guest. And if you guys do have questions in the live chat, we'll try to get to as many as we can. If you do have any super chat questions, those will go to the front of the line. But we want to get things started up. So let's bring on our special guest. And I'm really excited for this. So here she is, Miss Lisa Wilcox. Hello. Hey. Hello, everybody. How are How's you all going? tonight? <laughs> Good. We're doing good, real good. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. We're so, we're so happy to have you on, and uh, we're such fans. And um, this is just really, really cool. We have a couple of questions that we want to ask you, and we're just going to take some turns. We've got folks in the live chat. They're going to have some questions, too. We'll get to those as we get a chance to. But, uh, Coriander, I'm going to start with you, and then we'll go with Carrie, and then oh, I'll throw in a question. Okay? So, Coriander, we'll have you start. And let's get okay. this on the road. All right. So I'll start off easy for you. I'm curious, all right? So which was your favorite film that you did? Four or five? That's just not a fair question. <laughs> it's not a fair question. Because one, you know, no, you, you turned in from to either like either one of them. <laughs> I well, not so much bashing. I, I love I love both of them for different reasons. I love Nightmare Four because I the, the begin the the character arc of Alice is so inspiring, mm -hmm. uh, and you know the shy girl comes kick ass yeah. and and yes. um, and the music is amazing in it. Uh, there was real chemistry with the actors, and they're really I mean they're like my best friends and have been for, mm. for years. And that rarely happens in a film and nightmare five. I love nightmare five because it was such a brave little film because it touched on so many taboo subject matters, right? Sex before marriage, teen pregnancy, abortion. Oh, then we have Greta bulimia, anorexia. We have the recovered uh, alcoholic father. We have, I mean, it's, 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 and it's also, very violent the motorcycle scene was very violent and they had to keep editing it because it had an x rating <laughs> x rating for the violence and they had to keep editing it so so uh, i i love both of them you know that movie sophie's choice meryl street yes she has between yeah. choose between her daughter or her son so that's the kind of question it is and if you haven't seen Sophie's oh, choice, no. you see it. <laughs> it's a fantastic film it's in my top five okay so there mm. you go nice. young lady Thank you. <laughs> that was a fantastic answer. Just saying. That was a very right. good answer. You you've answered that question before. I can tell. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, yes. so Carrie, Carrie, let's have you ask your question. Okay. Was there an inspiration behind Alice from any other character in cinema, or did you put your own personal spin on this character? Oh, I love that question. Um, Really, Alice was me growing up. I was very introverted. I loved to read. I was a total bookworm, and I would just disappear. Any book I was reading, imagining the characters and where those characters were and the story that's happening, I was mm. I was absolutely obsessed with um, with books and character development and all of that. So, and again, we moved a lot. Um, you know, as opposed to Alice, Alice did have some friends, but. I was not popular. I never had a really chance to get to know anybody because we'd be moving on to the next place. So I just disappeared into my fantasy world, daydream mm -hmm. world, which is which is Alice, right? Mm -hmm. Then we moved to um, California. My dad was offered a great job there. Um, and it kind of all changed. I kind of blossomed, as it were. I went to my mother and sister were going off somewhere and I said, where are you going? We're going to Barbizon modeling school. My sister was like four inches taller than I am, very athletic. And she wanted to do this Barbizon. I was like, I'm like, well, I want to go too. Now, mind you, I didn't wear any makeup. I had no idea how to dress or anything. But Barbizon, 
introduced me to a whole new world of confidence and beauty and, and all that kind of thing. So in many oh. respects, that's like Lisa's <laughs> becoming kick-ass, you know, yeah. sigh, introverted to kick-ass. So definitely felt world. that in Alice for sure. You felt that you felt that there was like a personal level with you and the character. You could feel that. That's I'm so happy to hear that, you know, and maybe that's why she's so relatable, too. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, don't we yeah. all in our own life have moments of stress or there's sorrow or oh, yeah. things are not good at home? But Absolutely. then we leave home and we create our own life or and we make choices to be stronger. And, you know, we I, I, we all have that life arc, you know, I think. Mm. Very, very cool. Absolutely. Uh, and we have a lot of people in the live chat just saying, hello, Lisa. Very, very cool. Um, you guys are awesome. Seriously. Um, now, my question, Lisa, and we see a lot of things going on in horror recently uh, with a lot of legacy characters and so forth. I mean, your character is very popular in the Nightmare franchise, obviously. <laughs> you know, if there were the opportunity to revisit that character, would it be something that you would be interested in? And if so, oh oh, what would you like to do with the character if you had input? I, 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 I absolutely would revisit Alice, of course. You know, it's like this dangling story. You know, what happened to Alice and Jacob? What the heck? Yes. You know, mm -hmm. and they were popular characters. So it, it doesn't make sense with Warner Brothers to be sitting on it. You know, I can still walk. I can still talk. I can still act. It's like, come on, let's get this moving already, you know? Um, and what would I do with the character? I feel that Alice would, at this point, she has a granddaughter. She, you know, Jacob is married and has children and those kids, or, or it just affects Jacob with Freddie coming back into his dreams, perhaps mine. And I think... Mm. I kind of would love to see, like, maybe Alice does die, but it's protecting her family. So Ooh. that that ultimate okay. sacrifice. So I think that would be an interesting ending. Wow. Yeah, that, it would be interesting, as long as they did it the right way. Because we've seen sometimes when legacy characters come back into a franchise, and in, in my opinion, sometimes they're not, they're not given enough respect. I mean, there's you know, multiple generations that grew up, you know, idolizing and being a fan of characters like your character. And I would hate them to not deal with that in the right way, you know, because I've seen that, you know, like in the newest Texas Chainsaw Massacre, what they did with the character of Sally Hardesty, I just thought, wow, that was just a horrible way for her to go out. So I, I would just hope that they would handle it correctly is what I'm saying, so. Like with okay. grace, you know? Yes. Yeah. Respectful, grace. Yes. I, I think Alice's character would deserve that. You know, I totally agree. That's yeah. exactly like what I was outrageous. thinking. That's what Alice deserves. Yes, absolutely. And, and, I appreciate and, that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, like I said, when we were at the con, getting to meet, you know, you and also some of the other folks uh, from the Nightmare franchise, we, you know, I grew up on those movies. And it, as a horror fan, that's where it started for me. So you guys kind of gave me a, a fandom of so many great memories and movies and, and actors and actresses and filmmakers. So I would love to see, you know, the possibility of you bringing that character back, but I would want it to be done the right way, you know, with that respect and grace, as you said. So cool. Yeah. Very, very cool. Well, let's hope it happens one day. That would be awesome. Yeah, it it definitely. could, they should. We've seen it in they other should. horror franchises. <laughs> Look at mm -hmm. Halloween. <laughs> so I know. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Coriander, I'll, I'll go back to you for a question for, for Lisa. Okay, so obviously to be a final girl in any movie is so cool. And the fact that you kicked Freddy's ass twice, you know, not once but twice, I think is pretty damn cool. So how do you feel about being like the only one, right? And you're, well, besides Nancy, you guys are the only two to like ever go against Freddy twice. That's mm. huge. Yeah, it, it, I mean, it, yeah, I mean, I had to figure out the definition of what is a final girl. Because, I mean, yeah. technically, and I'm not bashing, but doesn't 
Nancy's character die in three? She does. She does. Yes. So technically, mm -hmm. she, she she's died. not. She, she did. So you're the only herself. one. Yeah. You know what I mean? Not so. I'm still mm -hmm. a little confused. Then final girl thinks she's definitely a. I mean, final girls that fought hard and got killed anyway. Well, mm -hmm. maybe they're a final girl too. I don't know. <laughs> what is the definition of a final girl? I I know I'm one. <laughs> yes, you yeah, are. Definitely. You are. Yes, you are. <laughs> and I just mentioned Nancy because she was in a couple movies, just like you. There's not too many characters I mean, she's that. She's the queen. Listen, I'm, yeah. I'm like the stepchild, okay, over here. No. No, Nancy, oh. Nancy is, you know, praise, you know, Nancy, Nancy. Nancy you Nancy, both you know. rocked it. Trust yeah. me, you both did an incredible job against Freddie. So, yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah. I yeah. Agree. No, and she totally did. Yeah, I love her. Yeah. No doubt at all. No well, you had all. all the skills from the other characters, so. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. I mean, <laughs> yep. that is so true, which to me is such a an interesting concept because it's like, mm -hmm. you know, yes. So each time her friend dies, she takes on their their traits and not all their good traits. You know, mind you, uh, Ken Sagos, who plays, you know, he's got a fucking A, you know, he's got a loud. Yeah. Then, then we have uh, Kristen. <laughs> And uh, she smokes, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And then, yeah. and then now Alice is smoking. So it's like, it was like a true reflection of Alice has really taken on all their characteristics, right? <laughs> it's Which true. I thought was very clever of the the screenwriter to to implement that. Mm. And I but it's through life and reflection. Don't we learn from friends? And we we will somehow take on. We admire someone so much that we'll take on their characteristics or some traits that. We admire about that other person. So to me, it's very mm. mirrored, you know, if that makes sense. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Very, very much so. Uh, Carrie, we'll go, we'll go to you next. I was wondering, was Alice the only character you auditioned for in Dream mm. Master and in, well for Dream Master? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes. Very cool. Very cool. Yes. Now, um, that was quite something, the whole process, though, because now, mind you, okay, remember, I've gone to Barbizon modeling school now, and so I knew how, in the 80s, and my, you know, I had plat natural platinum blonde hair, the makeup, you know, I was playing, you know, sort of the sex pod or the cheerleader or the beauty queen kind of roles, right? So I'm um, just, I'm out of college now and whatnot, and <clears throat> So my uh, agent submitted me for the role of Alice. And of course, I was so excited because I'm a huge fan. I was already a huge fan of Nightmare on Elm Street. I've been a fan of horror since I was little. So, and then he's like, well, they're not going to audition you. But <clears throat> if you ever come to a con again, I keep the 8 by 10 picture that was submitted for the role of Alice. <coughs> Excuse me. Believe me, it is not, does not look like Alice. Okay. But um, Annette Benson, who did the, who was the casting director for Nightmare One through Five, she told me that they auditioned hundreds of gals for the role of Alice, and they just could not find her. So they went to the reject pile that I was in, and they gave me a shot. So uh, you know, and I'd read the script, totally identified with Alice. I went in with no makeup, like dirty hair, wore, wore my worst color, pale yellow, unless I have a tan. <laughs> which is rare. <laughs> and went in. I had a callback on a Friday and I read actually with Tuesday. Tuesday likes to say she cast me, which is fine. Oh. Thank you, Tuesday. Uh, but That's Rennie cool. and Tuesday. Tuesday was the first person cast who played Kristen because they had mm -hmm. to find someone. Patricia Arquette didn't do the film, so they needed. So Tuesday was the first one. So anyway, got the callback with Rennie and Tuesday and then I got married a huge wedding on that Saturday and I learned on my honeymoon that I got in the role of Alice. Nice. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah. That is. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. <laughs> wow. Very, very awesome. Well, now what I wanted to ask also is, is one of my questions with, with both of these movies, were there any like stunts or scenes that you did that were just really, really a pain in the butt or difficult or any that you might have <laughs> looked back on and said, I don't know why I agreed to do that. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, I had some amazing stunt doubles. 
Um, mm-hmm. These gals were Olympiads, okay, and all that church mm-hmm. and flipping around stuff and all that. And I yeah. had done some gymnastics, actually, um, in high school. And um, so I would start the cartwheel or I would start something. But then, oh, no, those ladies made Alice look rock and hot, right? Uh, and Lisa Wilcox, I guess, too. Wow, that girl knows. They sent me to karate school to learn nunchucks as much as I could. But we know that one scene. Yep. That's the right. Back, I do. She, yep. That gal was amazing. But she was like, I was more petite than she was. She was an athlete, man. And the weird yes. was horrible. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But yep. when you see me in the mirror, when you see my face, that's me. That's me doing it. You know, so. Yep. I did nice. do it. I kind of lost track of the question. What was the question? No, no, no. Oh, I was, stunts. I was, yes. yes. No, the biggest, the most pain in the butt thing was that, so I had this naturally platinum blonde hair and they asked me to dye it red. And I was like, mm-hmm. can we put a rinse on it? So every <laughs> morning they had to put this rinse on. It took an hour. The makeup was nothing because I like was wearing like no makeup, you know, but the hair because when they put the rinse on, it's you can't like towel dry your hair. It's soft mm-hmm. and wet. So they would have two blow dryers on my head every morning. <laughs> that mm-hmm. was such a pain in the butt. And then, of course, the director, let's say, Renny, you know, we want we're on location and we're going to run a rehearsal like at the graveyard scene. And, you know, the, the AD is coming in. OK, we're doing it. And I'm literally in a bib with this red dye dripping down the bib, going out to do this rehearsal dripping. <laughs> oh, no. Um, wow. Then there's the scene um, in the uh, boiler room where I'm wearing the white nightgown and mm. I'm I'm wet, right? But they'd already mm-hmm. r- yes. put a rinse on my hair that morning. So now we're in a new scene, end of the day, and in the white nightgown and <laughs> the DP says, what, Co- what is going on? The dye was dripping all over the white nightgown. Oh, so no. We had to stop filming. They threw my head into a sink to wash it out mm-hmm. and then continue filming. So there's like wow. crazy stuff like that. <laughs> that, that oh, happens. my gosh. Yeah. Wow. That is crazy. So this Man. my stunt was my the hair. <laughs> that was the one that was a pain in the butt. <laughs> but I could like imagine still that blonde difficult. hair. <laughs> what, what was, was that, that? it was pretty strawberry blonde hair though it was it was beautiful <laughs> i mean i like the color my mom is a redhead my mom is a blue green eyed redhead wow. so no i have i'm i was totally fine with the the red and i would do it again but i may as well have just dyed it though because because at putting a rinse on blonde hair it's like throwing red paint on a white painted wall it just stained mm. it. So, uh, I, mm-hmm. you know, I, so I may as well have dyed it, but whatever. Wow. It makes for a good yeah. story. <laughs> wow. Right? It made That's your cool. pretty blue eyes pop. So, <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. Mm-hmm. A very good point. What was um, that part? I said it made your pretty blue eyes pop. Oh, there you go. Oh, thank you. Thank you very <laughs> much. Welcome. Thank you. And actually, <laughs> they wanted, because, you know, there's the old Alice scene. And yes. they saw... And I thought, because my, my I look so much like my mom, and so, you know, and I showed them a picture, and they're like, "Oh my gosh!" But ultimately, they decided she looked too young, and she did. <laughs> wow. wow! But she that's... was considered for old Alice. <laughs> that's cool. Wow, that's very very cool. Yeah. Um, real real quick too in the chat, um, we had uh, a super chat come in uh, from our good friend Val. Uh, thank you so much, Val. We appreciate that. And uh, she says, thank you for joining us tonight, Lisa. Did you have any concerns or worries coming in as the final girl behind Heather? And by the way, you have cemented your place on the list of favorite final girls. <laughs> Am I worried about it or anything? No. I mean, I'm thrilled. I'm like honored. I'm honored to be part of the Nightmare on Elm Street um, series. My goodness. It was like a dream come true. Because again, Listen, I I knew Nightmare on Elm Street. I knew when I was little, I uh, on Saturday mornings would would be commercial uh, uh, cartoons. So Mm -hmm. be cartoons. Then the monkeys show. I remember the monkeys 30 minute show (laughs) around lunchtime. And then all afternoon would be black and white horror films. 
And I was like, absolutely enraptured since mm. I was a very nice. young child. So wow. to be, so honestly, to be part of the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise is just, it's a, a, a thrill for me. You know, I was fanning out. Are you kidding? I'm like, oh my God, I'm working with Robert England. Oh my God, oh my God. Keep it cool. Keep it cool. <laughs> <laughs> and then I finally got to meet um, Heather Lane Camp, Nancy, a few years, many years after filming Nightmare 4 and 5 mm -hmm. at a convention. And, and, and she and Amanda were really tight. And I was a huge fan of Amanda Wiss too. But I felt like, like that time being left out at school because we just moved and I didn't know anybody. And I was like, oh, there's Heather and Amanda. Maybe I should go up to him and say, hi, you want to have lunch? <laughs> so I was very nervous about it. So anyway, now wow. that's a long time ago and we are tremendous, tremendous friends. So. Oh, awesome. very, very cool. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, and can I say just, just both of you were so just approachable and kind and, and everything at the mm -hmm. convention. It was, it was so cool to see and, you know, just, wow. That's, that's all I can say. You know, you guys oh, really, thank you. I and love there are a lot of other people. A lot of fun. And I can imagine, but, but I can yeah. also imagine that well, here's one thing. Cause you know, we, we also want to talk about some things that you've got going on, but I could imagine conventions can also be a lot, you know, as far as, you know, keeping schedules and obviously always being around so many people, meeting people constantly. I mean, do you, do you have anything, <coughs> you know, from your convention experience that you thought was really like just a really crazy memory and, and, you know, stands out? A crazy, there's no, I can't say no specific memories. I mean, they're all, they're all memorable. I may mm -hmm. not recall what city I was in, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but, right. but um, it's just a great time. I mean, I think what has meant the most to me is when someone comes to my table to talk to me and they share a story, a personal story of how the franchise helped them through a hard time or, or specifically Alice's character, like, got them through something horrible, you know, mm -hmm. and they're, they'll be crying and then I'm crying and, and, but it's Aww. that sharing of, of life and life stories mm -hmm. that that's, what's so absolutely remarkable to me about conventions because conventions yeah. haven't always been around, you know, that's right. Mm -hmm. And now this opportunity to meet in the flesh and, <clears throat> and for us to just to know the influence that we had, on someone's mm. life is truly like, wow, you know, remarkable and, and, um, I have such gratitude for, so wow. thank you. Oh, wow. That's cool. Well, thank you for mm. being a part of the convention scene because there are some folks yeah. that for whatever reason, you know, and it, we don't know, but some aren't able to do that. So it's really cool that you've been able to, and, um, yeah, it's awesome. Cause again, your character really resonated with so many people i hear that all the time whenever yeah. i talk about the franchise and, and horror and final girls and all of that you know so very cool thank you um and val thank you so much uh for your question we're gonna get into a couple other questions but real quick um i'm gonna bring on a jt who's also here and he had a couple questions for you lisa he's also part of our panel coming in right before he has to go to work so it's really cool oh, of him. Nice. thank you so much and <laughs> here he is Hey, JT. What's going on? Hey. 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 <laughs> How's it going, everybody? Hey. Going good. Going Lisa, good. It is an honor to meet you because I am a big, 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 big Nightmare on Elm Street fan. <laughs> right yeah. on. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> now, JT, let's get to one of your questions uh, for Lisa, and uh, we'll uh, then go around to the other ladies, too. Um, we're well, using four and five. Was there any, like, moments that really freaked you out? Like, special effects, something might not went right, that kind of, like, jittered your nerves just a little bit? Yeah, there was um, there was a scene um, that was done up on a platform. I'm going to say about five feet off the ground. And it's the scene where um, <clears throat> I'm looking in the mirror, and I'm about to shoot through the mirror, right? 
to get to Danny, <laughs> right? Yeah. If you recall this scene, but it's yeah, my mirror and you know, Alice's mirror. And so I'm staying on this platform and I'm standing in front of this uh, mirror and they said, okay, so there's little explosives like, it's just, like around it. And, but it's just going to, it's just going to crack the glass. It's just going to, you know, crack it and like fall out of the frame. Wow. Okay. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so, so action happens. The freaking thing explodes like, and I am thrown off this five foot platform. Thank God oh, wow. there was um, some people uh, behind the platform uh, who caught me. And mm. so I had wow. you know, the candy glasses all in my hair and I was really, really shaken up. No question Not about bad. it. That could have gone so badly. Um, yeah. And actually, I mean, yeah, I was just good. shaking and I was crying and, you know, because you have to have trust on set because yeah. you are doing... You know, there's cords and wires and all kinds of things all around. And that's why you're actually walked by an assistant or an AD or someone through a stage or through where you're going to be because there's so much, you know, behind the scenes stuff happening. Anyway, mm. they sent me home for the day. So I got <laughs> I caught a day off, went back to work the next day. But yeah, that, that wasn't fun. <laughs> that's crazy. Because there's that always is. something. Yeah, there's always something like the first one with the spinning room. So that's always like anybody I meet, I want to ask like what freaky thing happened because it's like almost kind of like Batman. You know, there's a curse yes. to that. So is there <laughs> something like that for Nightmare se uh, series? Because you know the, the crazy special effects they do. Is, well, I love the franchise so much. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's, the, it's, it's sets it's are not are uh, are require a lot of safety. <laughs> they 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 really do. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. But again, in all, all my filming and of all kinds of projects and stuff, I mean, that's that's the only time anything ever went um, wrong, as it were. So, wow. so I feel wow. that's fortunate. good. And really, well, they do good. work. They do work very tight for safety of the actors yeah. and the crew, and and there's a lot of time and money put into into that those uh, into that. So. Wow. That's crazy. Absolutely crazy. crazy. Yeah. yeah. Now, Lisa, let's also talk about, you know, things that you have going on, new developments, new projects, and maybe even some things that, that you, you know, might want to get into. I think that'd be a great time to talk about that. Oh, to share with you all? Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, and I should have brought this postcard. Oh, well, I have it. <laughs> so a show called Barbie Rehab is actually streaming right now. Perfect timing, right, with the Barbie movie out. Anyway, but it's out. out. Yes. It's a, just a raucous body uh, show. It's it's quite funny. Tom Sizemore's in it. Bay Ling's in it. Uh, I have a small recurring role, um, but it's uh, and apparently it's doing quite well. So that's streaming on many, many platforms. You can find it, no problem. Another movie, mm. Mystery Spot. I was nominated for Best Actress at the Buffalo, New York, the Buffalo Film Festival, I think. Um, Mystery Spot. Nice. And then something done in Los Angeles called Murder Anyone. And uh, almost all the cast, including myself, won. Um, I won Best Supporting Actress. I even have an award. It's so cute. Um, and this was at a Hollywood Film Festival. So there's all kinds of stuff out there streaming right now, which I'm really happy about. And this I did pull out from my thing. We have, I don't know, do you know Dead Sled Coffee? So, here nice. we go. Mm, I have my cool. own. They reached out to me and I was really happy. It's called Vanilla, Vanilla Fudge. Mm. And it comes around mm. or a whole bean. And I love the packaging they did on it and all that stuff. So this you can get at Dead Sled. Uh, and then before this, I have the Craven Mug. This you can get on my website. Now I feel like I'm doing a commercial. I'm doing a commercial, aren't I? Okay. <laughs> no, you're not. Cheers. No. Uh, <laughs> Craven Mug. This you can get on my website, which is lisaewilcox.com. There's a lisaewilcox.com. They will not respond to you. I can't get them to take it down. So number of years ago, it's lisaewilcox. But this is available 
on my website. So, um, you know, and I've been filming a whole bunch the past, oh my gosh, a couple of years since COVID has subsided more or less. And, mm -hmm. um, so there's a lot of, a lot of stuff coming, um, coming out too. Wow. Okay. Very cool. So That's you awesome. Stuff. So get your coffee. Mm. Get your yes, coffee. absolutely. Get your it sounds amazing. <sighs> It does. Um, in the live chat, um, Val, if, if you could, or, or even Carrie, I don't know if you're able to either, but by putting um, Lisa's link in the live chat, that would be great. And that way folks, you know, if they choose to do so, they can check it out. Thank you so much. Very, very cool. Um, yeah, Coriander. Yeah. Okay. So we have it in the live chat. Oh, Carrie, you're quick. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> well done. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> very cool. Well, this isn't our first rodeo, but very cool. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Um, let's go. Let's go around one more time, and then we do have a couple of questions from the live chat that I'm going to try to get to. So, Coriander, I'll have you. Well, why don't uh, I was going to say I don't know how much time JT has. Does he have another question? I'm good for an hour. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. We're good. For an hour. Yes. Okay. okay. We're good. <laughs> so you kind of answered one of my questions <laughs> that I had earlier. So I don't think I want to ask you that one. Um, <laughs> but you okay. did mention how you <laughs> were a fan of like horror movies as a young girl. So like, what's your favorite horror movie? I, I'm really very old school. I have to say mm -hmm. like, I love, um, Carrie. Nice. I related to Carrie, you know, yes. being bullied. I was bullied. Yep. Same. Uh, I, I just so related to her. Um, mm. Rosemary's Baby Ooh. is a nice. terrifying film. Mm -hmm. It's one of my favorites. I mean, and of course, an exorcist and all that. So yeah. I really go along the, just the old line and, and I love the Twilight Zone and I can't say yeah. like Ooh. a specific yeah. one, but I love Twilight Zone. I just thought it was fascinating. Yeah, um, when it would cool. come on at night. Right, and that music would start. Oh yeah, I love it. It draws you yeah. in, and yeah. And their stories were so out of this world, and so yes. creepy. So I, uh, so there, there's your, yeah, very cool your answer. <laughs> Wait, did, did did the ending of Carrie get you? With that stinger at the end, yeah. Did it? Did uh, it did yeah, it the whole you? house sinking and all that. Yeah, that and then great. she reached I, out I, from I the know. ground. Yeah, I thought it was okay. cool. I was great. Nice. <laughs> that did get me when I first saw it as a kid, God, too. Oh, yeah. She did. She did. Oh, my god. She did. And that's so cool that you said that because that movie brought me into, that definitely got me into horror as a young girl myself. I was, like, in the third grade when I saw that movie, so mm -hmm. that's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. And nice. it's, like, you know, I, I was totally bullied and stuff, you know, and oh, I, yeah. wow, it was yeah. horrible. I mean... I wanted my revenge. Well, I got my revenge. I'm in a Nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> yeah, look at you, you now. Right? Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Right. Those girls that were so mean to me. Well, look at me yeah. now. Are you on the, yeah. the exactly. screen? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that was good. That I was a great point. I just Carrie differently because my name is Carrie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Uh, speaking of Carrie, let's, do you have another question for Lisa you want to throw at her? Yes, I do. Okay. Yes. Okay. Are there any behind the scenes memories that you would love to share while filming Dream Master or Dream Child? Behind the scenes stories to hmm. share. Gosh. Um... I mean, Preferably with you and Rick, because I love your brother and sister uh, dynamic. I have to say that. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. Okay, Loved Rick, it. Um, Andros Jones, yes. Um, well, <clears throat> he really wasn't my, I mean, I, he and Tuesday were dating during the oh, filming wow. of that movie. So, oh, okay. so I kind of feel the chemistry. Got married, you know, so... I, um, you know, I wasn't um, like uh, behind the, I mean, on set and everything, we really just got along really fabulously. Um, they had a tighter relationship than I did, I think, because I'm off on my honeymoon, got married, 
And then Rennie was putting together like barbecues because he really wanted the friendships and all that to be real and really get to know each other before we're actually filming. And unfortunately, mm. I missed all that because I was in, oh. I was on my honeymoon. Oh, um, wow. But, but, but the man I married was, well, we're divorced. <laughs> <laughs> he would do things like I'd get home and, you know, some days were, are really long days and the Writers Guild strike was happening. So I was the only mm. one bringing in the money at the time. And like, he would just be like laid out flat on the couch, drunk. It's like 9 30 oh. 10 o'clock at night i've just gotten home from a long day and he's like well you just need to tell that director that you need to be home by eight o'clock and i'm i'm wow. a young actress at this point and i'm like um <clears throat> i don't think i'm allowed to ask for that <laughs> you know <laughs> he was so unreasonable and he was actually in mm. show business as well so 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 there's my behind the scenes story Wow, it, that works. Mm. <laughs> that that totally works. Wow, I didn't. Yeah, yeah. that's a good question, Carrie. Uh, JT, how about you? Okay, so <clears throat> you had Halloween 2018, right? And you know what they did? They basically ignored the second one, the third one, and all that. Well, now Wait, there's talk. Again? Halloween 2018. You know what they did was you, they ignored the Halloween two, four, five, six, seven, eight, right, and all that. So now there's talk of a nightmare on Elm Street, and a lot of people want them to go that route, a different timeline. Now, if they follow that timeline, would you be willing to go back because you had Jacob, or would you think they should do a remake for the new generation? Mm. Oh, n no, I would definitely go in the vein of not a remake, C continue a storyline out of Nightmare on Elm Street mm. authentically, absolutely. And they have a story mm. right there with our can create a story right there between Alice and, and Jacob. I mean, yeah. I saw the remake they did of a nightmare on Elm street. I don't know. <laughs> maybe what 10 years ago or so. And I know yeah. a lot of fans did not like it. I actually went to the uh, premiere in Hollywood. They invited me and stuff. And um, it's just, there are some, some elements that I actually did like, um, it's just mm. really hard to replace Robert England. And Jackie Earl Haley yeah. is an amazing actor. Mm -hmm. He is. Mm -hmm. But he is Absolutely. just so hard to replace Robert England. So I don't know if a remake honestly will ever happen because I know Robert doesn't want to do the makeup anymore, mm -hmm. you know? That's so, right. So I don't know. Maybe they can come up with a clever way where it's just his voice or something like that. I don't know. Mm. <laughs> yeah, he talked a little bit about that at Terracon in his panel about how, you know, he's just, you know, he's just... He's he's stepped back from it. And I totally understand the stories that that are out there and the stories that he's told about how long and how difficult the makeup is. Mm -hmm. And it's just I totally understand it. But you're right. Replacing him is is one of the greatest or, or biggest obstacles for the franchise to move forward. And and I love Jackie or Haley, too. Yeah. Yeah. It just yeah. I walked out. Yeah, I walked out. <laughs> that makeup on him was just not working, though. That makeup was not working on him. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. well there's a picture without the CGI. He looked mm -hmm. really, really good. He really looked good. But, you mm -hmm. know, what they turned him into, that's why I walked out, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so I'm yeah. like, yep, no, go for me. He's not. And to me, Freddie's not that, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and I think we all know what I'm talking about. Right. So, yeah. Wow. A remake would be hard. Unless they change the story. They completely change the story, you know. But who knows? Yeah. Very true. Very true. Cool. You said sequel. Bonus. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Could, could they ever create a story that's Alice and Jacob, but without Freddy, but it's a new monster kind of thing, a new reborn thing? Or would that would, would that suck? <laughs> well, you know, I don't, you know, no, I don't no, know. I mean, no. I think if you got, like, a different Freddy, because technically, uh, you know, it's not Amanda Freddy. took him, it's a but it's not Freddie, so you can, yeah, completely different monster, as it were, you know. Yeah, Ooh, maybe. I think I got it. What if she's haunted by her friends? <laughs> Ooh. No, Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's just ah, me thinking about it on the fly. I need more time. <laughs> yeah, oh, I mean. That's kind of fun, and then as the trade off. So I don't. I have to give back the power they gave me. Mm -hmm. mm. And then Alice yes. is back to her nerdy 
introverted, no. scared self. <laughs> oh, no. no. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm okay with it. <laughs> But You're okay with that, Carrie? The friends are yeah. haunted and become monsters themselves because of Freddy Krueger. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. You know, if Robert didn't want to do the voice, <laughs> I can always do the voice, you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's a good one, man. That's good. I like it. I'm a dork. <laughs> <laughs> we, we all are. are. Okay. We are uh -huh. all dorks. Yep, we all are. Dark. See, same brain. Same brain. <laughs> Yes, yes. Real quick, too. Now, we had a couple folks in the live chat that have uh, some questions, too. Uh, we got a good buddy, Neil, uh, from Neon Black Reviews. Thanks so much for the su super chat, man. We appreciate you. Um, and he's saying, off the wall question, <clears throat> but did you enjoy playing Yuta in the Star Trek, the Next Generation episode, The Vengeance Factor? I did not see that twist coming at the end. Oh. Uh huh. Mm. Um, and what was the very first part of that question? Because my dog just flapped his ears. I call him Helicopter Head. So <laughs> helicopter. I that's not his real name. His real name's Chester. But when he does that, it's like, oh, it's Helicopter Head. <clears throat> yeah. What was the so, I, mean, I know it's about Star Trek Next Gen, but specifically, what was the question? Yeah, he said uh, off the wall question. But did you enjoy playing Yuta in the Star Trek: The Next Generation oh. episode, The Vengeance Factor? I did not see that twist coming at the end. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, yes. And Star Trek Next Generation was like a number one TV show. So that was a really big audition um, to do. And they, I mean, they uh, they looked at all the top t talent. And, um, but I, for whatever reason, well, I know, I just, I nailed it and got the role. Um, <laughs> nice. And, no. No, really. I mean, you do auditions, yeah. and I'm like, oh, my gosh, I sucked. And then sometimes <laughs> you get the audition that you thought you sucked in, right? Yeah. And yeah. other times you can think you nailed it, and you didn't get it. But it can be because mm. they decided before coloring, they needed a brunette, or they wanted a redhead, or, they wa or height. Height issue mm. is a very big deal in Hollywood because so many actors are short. So, mm -hmm. so you know, they have to... They can't have like his female lead be, you know, a foot taller than he is or vice versa, you know. Um, so it's very, it's very tricky. But, uh, but I was always a Star Trek from the original series, a fan of um, Star Trek and sci-fi and in, in general. Um, it was a very sad story, the vengeance factor actually mm. of, of Utah, the character. But what's kind of cool is, um, so when you shoot and stuff, the studio will put, you know, they do stills of you on set and costume and all that. And by all the costumes mm -hmm. are custom made and the jewelry. And I mean, it's a very cool thing. But I'm actually yeah. on the next gen. Monopoly board is a property. Ooh, Ooh cool. that is Isn't cool. That cool? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very cool. So no, nice. I don't have a star on Hollywood Boulevard, but I'm a property on the next gen Monopoly board. <laughs> well, the truckies would love I'm in that the St. Sure. James area and I'm known as the assassin and in the little nice. book they even talk about my character and each character that's placed on the board and you know the mm -hmm. leads of the show are on the board too you know yes. so mm -hmm. I, I felt very um, very uh, excited about being because they have tons of guest stars during that show so I was like mm -hmm. wow that's kind of cool that is. I mean, they've had dozens and I mean, hundreds. hundreds of guests. Yeah, hundreds of guest stars. So that is very oh, cool. The whole, all the seasons. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Very cool. Uh, Neil, thank you so much for that super chat, man. We appreciate it. Uh, JML also coming in with a super chat question. Uh, we talked about this a little bit saying, hey, Lisa, what's your favorite horror movie? Um, and I know you mentioned a few. Do you have any others that come to mind? You know, because you mentioned Carrie, you mentioned Exorcist, uh, Rosemary's Baby. Um, I think that's the ones that you, all the ones that you yeah, mentioned. Yeah, I know Did those you... are definitely my my top four films. <laughs> I don't know how to add to it. Um, yeah. You know, I love classic Frankenstein vampire films. Um, Ooh. I loved uh, Anne Rice. Um, 
wow. her novels turned into films. Cool. Love that whole yeah. series. And is that horror? I don't know. It's vampires, you know. Yeah. And that's yeah. the one thing I haven't gotten to play yet is a vampire. Ooh. <laughs> I want to play. You got to get on there. You got to make nice. it a vampire. Yeah. Yes. So very cool. It's on my list. You should. You really should. <laughs> Right. Very cool. JML, thank you so much for that. Uh, we have Eric, our good buddy Eric from Hey Internet Eric here saying, was that you under the Freddy makeup at the end of Dream Child during the final confrontation? And if so, how long was the application time? What was it like? Oh, I love that question. Yes, that was me. Uh, and the application process was several hours. Um, the strange thing is that, like, the, the stuff they're putting on, it has like a thickness to it, you know? So mm -hmm. it felt like, and I already have like a very full face. So it puts this makeup on, I'm like, holy milly. It's like, yeah. <laughs> and then you're, sometimes you kind of forget you're looking at it and then you catch yourself in the reflection of a mirror or something or, the, <laughs> and you're like, oh, wow, okay. <laughs> um, and it was very uncomfortable. I ha I wore it an entire day and I was literally getting down to taking the minute counting for when the minutes, when our day would be done to mm -hmm. get this stuff off of me. It was awful. Mm. It was wow. awful, 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 especially the lip part. Cause it's latex there too. And you, Oh, Oh God, mm. my hat goes mm. off to, to Robert big time. He deserves every penny he ever earned. <laughs> That's cool. So, I think so too. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. For any of you actors out there and you're going to play a monster that has to have latex or special effects makeup, makeup put on, just be prepared. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> true. Very true. Very true. Mm -hmm. um, thank you for that question, Eric. We appreciate you. Uh, we've got Boogie Daddy saying, oh, my God, this is so exciting. I'm almost in tears. Lisa, you were my original Final Girl as a kid. Nightmare 4 and 5 were my first horror movies, and I watched them on repeat. Oh, nice. <laughs> I love very, it. Very, very cool. Very, very <laughs> cool. Thank you. Uh, and we've got uh, our good friend Elm Street's last brat in the live chat who is asking, uh, hi, Lisa. One of my favorite scenes is Alice getting ready for combat in front of the mirror. Do you have a particular scene in all of four, Nightmare 4 or 5, that resonates with you? Um, I love the scene when dad is coming home late from work, drunk, and we're in the kitchen and he goes into the dining room and I serve him a bowl of salad. Yeah. And, and his line is, what do you think I am, a rabbit? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yep. And then Alice goes into daydream mode, right? Mm -hmm. And just turns around and slams that bowl. And I love that scene. I love love that scene and honestly it's, <laughs> it's a good one i think intimate scenes kind of like that that made a nightmare on elm street for in many ways not like a typical horror film mm. yeah. you know there's good like point. family strife going on and you're you're getting to know these these characters when you're watching the film and seeing the pain they're going through and mm -hmm. it's that character development that i feel like the script really um really proved itself in that arena so yeah, yeah. that's a good point great point mm -hmm. um and danielle was asking did you know that you were the final girl or was that discovered later during the shooting of the film oh no no i had a i had a full script yeah we knew that we knew the ending and i know okay. there's been talk over the years that they changed the script a whole bunch of times and stuff but um and now I had I had a full blown script, um, but again I was the last one cast and hired mm. for the into the film. So maybe there were other things happening before I was even part of it at all. Yeah. Um. So, yeah. Very cool. Is is it true that you you had auditioned uh, with, with Ellie Cornell from Halloween Four? Mm. You know. I've been asked that before, and I if I did, I don't remember at okay. all. <laughs> okay. I mean, mind you, we, you know, as actors, you're you're auditioning like, like all the time. Mm. It's not so much that way anymore. 
but in the old days you're you're constantly you know auditioning and stuff so i really can't say yes or no if it happened i just don't remember at all okay. i would think i would remember because it's a horror film and then i would be like right. oh, oh cool halloween it seems i would remember that but i don't mm -hmm. so i'm gonna lean on the side of no i never auditioned for halloween okay all right uh and our good buddy ginger ninja says i can't think of a question so a big hello from australia and it's great to see you on here <laughs> that's cool cool <laughs> thanks man we appreciate you yeah i love australia <laughs> i Robert i wish i could and visit there and i went there <laughs> years ago oh my gosh we had a fabulous time wow nice. that is cool very very cool now, uh, yeah, I also want to remember, remind you guys, we have uh, the link to Lisa's website there. Carrie had put that in the live chat, so definitely check that out. And I want to make sure uh, that we're respectful of your time too, Lisa, because I know you got to get ready to get out of here. Um, but last thoughts uh, from you guys. I'll just start with you, Coriander, and then Carrie, and then JT, and we'll get ready to let Lisa get out of here. Uh, yeah, <laughs> just thank you so much for you know coming on the channel. It was so nice meeting you at the con and yes you were great and yeah i'm just Aww. so pleased to meet you and that was awesome so thank you well thank you for uh i wish your show all the best and the luck in the world and you guys just were so fun and loved your <laughs> oh. questions and i know in the beginning i said that's a horrible question just know <laughs> When I had to choose between four and five, I was just chiding you. Okay. No. <laughs> right, All right, good. <laughs> totally. Okay. I never even thought anything about it. So. <laughs> How about you, Karen? Um, so, yeah. Anyway, so you guys get your coffee, get your coffee mug, and come to another convention. There's a whole bunch of them. Oh, yeah. and it reminds me, I have not updated my website with uh, the next signings I have happening. Okay, Ooh. that's a call I have to make tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you do. But anyway. You do. Um, Absolutely. See you all again soon, right? Thank Yes, thank you so much for being here. We really, really appreciate it. And this has been awesome, seriously. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right. All right. Ciao, we'll, we'll catch have you Have a good later. one. Bye. Bye. Thank, you. thank you. Happy Halloween. <laughs> yes, <laughs> happy <you>. Halloween. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, guys. Bye. Okay. Bye. 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 All right, guys. Awesome. Hey, that was very, very cool, man. That was awesome. She <laughs> she had another another um, appointment that she had to keep. So that was. Yeah. I'm glad we got. I'm glad we got our questions out there. Yes. Um, Carrie, any any final thoughts as we as we round this down? Well, that was an absolute honor, and. Um, mm -hmm. I <laughs> was super nervous the entire time, but it Aww. was, it was really fun. It was fun to hear her stories and it was, yeah, it was fun to hear the behind the scenes and she has such a, a fantastic personality, just yes. a great energy about her. Absolutely. She's a very, very kind lady. Um, I, you know, and we, we found that out when we went to the con, it was just really just so cool to be able to you know, hang out with her for a little bit and just talk to her. And it was very casual and just, just a really nice person. It's just very, very, um, like I said, I'm just glad she does conventions because she's mm. definitely the type of, you know, um, celebrity guest that you'd love to have at a convention because she was so nice to everyone. We saw her yep. when we were in other lines and, and we, you know, she was just great. Absolutely great. How about you, JT? Any any uh, final thoughts? I'm glad you could make it, and I know you well, had to yeah. change your work schedule. And thank you, but oh yeah, I'm like I'm going in late. I'm the boss, so it's like what, it's like <laughs> I was sitting there. I'm like uh, I'm like wait a minute, I'm the boss. Like what am I doing? <laughs> it's like I'll get right. there when I get there. I don't have to but, be yeah, here. I am so <laughs> thank. I mean, thank you for the invite. I mean, you know that was it's like doing the the, the the watch party, and you hit me with that. I was like, oh, that's insane. <laughs> <laughs> and but yeah i mean it's uh it's cool man really cool but you know you know what i see her as and i'm gonna get a close-up here i'm gonna get real <laughs> this is serious up close and personal it's serious, serious. <laughs> yeah yes yeah you know one of those for you make it weird <laughs> i see her as leslie mocker i see Could her be. as Stu's, yeah i see her can as we because uh, that'd be awesome 
Yeah, because that, that was going to be my other question. Like, what other franchise would you want to hit? Yeah. Oh, would, uh, man, yeah. I would have loved to have heard what she would say. Yeah, yeah that would have been a good one, yeah. Well, who knows, man? Maybe I tried, we'll man. Lucky. I was like, <laughs> JT, I tried. Yeah. <laughs> well, I wanted the, you know, the if there's any like freaky moments and any mishaps, that's really the ones yeah. I really because but this you always was after it. that, man. You this was story after. Too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. No, I thought she was awesome though. And, and for you guys yeah. in the live chat, thank you so much for hanging out with us. I know we didn't get to everyone, but Lisa was on a really tight schedule. And um, you know, but it was so fun, like like you had said, Carrie, listening to her stories, like she answered those mm -hmm. questions with a lot of details and mm -hmm. beyond and so as she was answering them i was like oh wow this is going to be really really interesting because she's given us a lot yeah. for each question so i knew we'd have less questions we could ask but it was it was so great to have her here and thank you guys for being here too lady luna great to see you saying such yeah. a cool experience um we're glad you could join seriously and you're welcome we and i got what i wanted yeah. Because there was one question <laughs> that I wanted to be able to ask where she's like, I love this question. I'm like, yes. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Score. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Daniel says, shout out Coriander for her live appearance. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I know. For a little while. It was for, for a few. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. rare. Like an yeah. eclipse. It is nowadays. <laughs> you it's like an eclipse. It right. certainly is. <laughs> Jason, Jason is staying on task, though. He knows what's up. He's saying, looking forward to Halloween Fest 2 in an hour. That's, you, right. see, that's what I'm talking about, man. You're all right. <laughs> You're keeping us on task. Yes, we will be back in less than an hour, and we hope that you guys jump in. Our good buddy Steven's in the chat, too. What's up, man? Hope hey. you're well. Buddy. Yes. Yes. Hey. Um, hey. <laughs> Harley saying, uh, night I just seen you interview James Jude Courtney. Definitely watching that video next. Love oh, the night. Watch. Oh, yes, we've been, one. we've been lucky uh, to get a chance to really talk to some great folks. And now we've covered all three franchises. We've covered Nightmare now, and we've covered Halloween, yeah. and we've covered Friday 13th. So it's really, really cool. Yeah. And um, yeah, thank you. Can we thank push you so for much. Jamie Blanks, please? Can we what? Can we push for Jamie Blanks, please? <laughs> we can. We can. For hey, Valentine's this, Day, that there, would be there, awesome. There, there is, there are some things in the works. You know how that is, Carrie. And <laughs> speaking of which, I'm, I'm really glad. Obviously, JT, I'm glad you, you could make it. And Carrie, you know, we were trying to make sure that you could jump on here too. And I'm glad that it all worked out. Um, yeah. Yes. Just thank awesome. You. Yeah. Awesome stuff, man. Um, <laughs> There's Val. She's got the link for Halloween Fest 2. Val, you're all right. Thank you so much. Uh, hope that all <sighs> you guys can join us. It's going to be a blast. Uh, Jason Dyer jumped in. You're all right. Nice. Hope you're doing well, boy, brother. Um, <laughs> Jason, so, a yeah. nice one. <laughs> it's like, yeah, Nightmare now. Yeah, yeah. Get, let's get to Halloween now. Let's, just, yeah. let's, let's get to Halloween now. Friday <laughs> <laughs> uh, never great. gets no love. Oh. Well, hey, hey, man! T today was the day. He man. did, yeah, that Freddie. Today was Nightmare the got day. love. Yeah, yep. let's was get together, day, Stephen. Man. We can get Jamie yeah. Blank. If let's I ever land Robert, Robert England, that's who I want my right. first guest to be. Robert England, would, I will call would, you, you personally. It's like that you want to join the panel. It, <laughs> hey, you got it, man. It would, that would be absolutely amazing. He's so right? cool, man. His stories alone. He should. What he yeah. should do is do something whether it's you know like a podcast a, a, or something yes yes yeah. yes yeah. listening to him talk about the business and his career and his thoughts it is money. make sure it he's absolutely yes. gold. yeah what was that no i'm i'm biting my tongue on it so <laughs> okay <Never. laughs> all right no but he's he's awesome man we went to his panel it was so crazy oh my goodness so all right, guys. Well, we're going to get ready to get out of here so we can get situated for Halloween Fest 2. It's going to be absolutely awesome. We hope that you guys in the live chat will join us as usual. And I didn't mention it once. Hopefully it was mentioned in the live chat. Please hit the like button. It helps to support the channel. We'd appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to the Night Watch Zone, please do. And if you're not subscribed to Carrie Crave Cinema, please do that as well. And if you're not subscribed to JT and the Late Night Horror Show, please do that. Uh, we'd appreciate it. These guys are absolutely awesome. Um, as well as everyone else in the chat, a lot of content creators craving something yeah. scary. Now it's dark. Jamie, all of you guys, you guys know what's going on. So mm. we will catch you guys later. If you're watching this, if you're listening to this, you are the Night Watch. Peace. Achich.
Thank <laughs> you.